Here with the uh, former Air Force tight end and uh, Air Force lacrosse star, Joe Lombardi. <laughs> so, so why tight end when you got to the academy? Was yeah. that always your position or did they move you there? Yeah, no, I was recruited as a tight end. So okay. yeah, I kind of started and finished there. Well, I noticed that you're a big Lombardi. Yeah. Most of us Lombardis are small. <laughs> your grandfather was on the, what, seven blocks of granite? Was That's that right. what they called it? Yeah, seven blocks of granite and he was, him. And he was not your size, your size. How'd you get no. so big? I must be from my mom's side, and my dad's only about 5'9", so, yeah, I don't know how it happened, but got lucky. Your time at the academy, you have said many times how that set you up for life. What did it do? How did it define Joe Lombardi? Oh, you know, a number of things. I think there's just, you know, a discipline there um, that, uh, you know, you have to have every day. You know, there's no off days at the academy, so I just think it, it builds a certain stamina for work. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that you, every day you have to wake up and, and do your job. You know, I think the people you're surrounded with at the academy, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of leaders there and a lot of people that uh, you learn from. And, and I think a lot of your character is formed by the people you surround yourself with. And, uh, you know, generally speaking, the guys that you're surrounded with and girls that you're surrounded with at the academy are, are, are high quality people. How long do those relationships and friendships last? Forever, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, most of my best friends are, are from those college days, and um, it's been nice getting back to Colorado because a lot of mm -hmm. those guys are hanging around here, so it's good to catch up with a lot of those guys. Do you always have one eye on the academy no matter where you're working? For sure. I've got, uh, you know, a couple of really good friends that are coaching there, and, uh, you know, the academy always holds a place in your heart. And, mm -hmm. and then having the friends there that are coaching, it's, uh, you know, the first score you check on Sunday morning. Or who, who are your friends? Uh, yeah. Coach Lobotsky, mm -hmm. offensive line coach. I know uh, Troy real well. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so there's a number of guys did, there. Did your and Troy's paths cross at all? Because I know he's a little older than you. But. Yeah, but he came back, I think, uh, my junior and senior year. Okay. Maybe it was just my senior year, but he came back as like he was still in the Air Force, mm -hmm. but helping out as an assistant coach there. Okay. And then um, I was stationed in Ohio when Coach Groby brought all those guys to Ohio University. So I would go work their camps and got to know those guys really well. I didn't do my homework properly. How are your, your squads under Fisher when you played? Um, first three years, we were good, you know, just under 500, I think, my fourth year. But, um, okay. yeah, pretty pretty successful years. Were you on any of those teams that beat Notre Dame? No. The uh, last time they did that, I think, was the year before I got there. Okay. Gotcha. So we only played them my freshman and sophomore year. Yeah. Gave them a good game my sophomore year, but, yeah, we never got what was What was Fisher like, and how did he shape your coaching career? Um, you know, Fisher, I'd say a little bit like Sean in that demanding, you know, you knew you had to be on your P's and Q's, but still made it enjoyable to be part of that program. You know, it was fun, but demanding. Sometimes mm -hmm. the real demanding programs aren't a lot of fun, mm -hmm. but you win. And uh, sometimes the real fun programs, you know, things can be a little loose. Um, and so it was a really good combination of the two. I have an admission to make. When I was a child, people used to say to me, Vic Lombardi, are any relation? And I say, yeah, yeah, he was my grandfather. But you really are the grandson of one of the greatest of all time. And I know you don't take that lightly. But when did coaching become an option for you, knowing that Vince Lombardi is the ultimate coach? So my dad wanted to coach. And uh, my grandfather said, no, you're going to be a lawyer. So he became a lawyer. <laughs> and um, a lot like uh, his dad, my dad was like, don't coach. So you don't go to the Air Force Academy thinking you're going to coach. But um, after graduation and those first couple seasons came around that for the first time since I, can't, since I can remember, I wasn't part of a football team, I, I really missed it and felt like something was missing. So that's when I kind of got the bug. Um, you know, my oldest son is senior year of college, and he's decided he wants to coach, and I've tried to talk him out of it, but I wasn't successful either. So we'll see how that goes. How poetic do you get with the history of Vince Lombardi? How much have you delved into it, or is it just, hey, man, I – I don't get into that stuff. Yeah, I try not to. You know, it's, um, you know, obviously you're proud of, 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 you know, what he accomplished, but uh, understand that it really doesn't, you know, I don't get any credit for it. So, mm -hmm. you know, you just try to, you know, be the best that I can be and, and not try to get caught up too much in that. What's crazy, Joe, when I look at these photos and I'm looking at Moranis' book, and obviously these books are all written differently, but this book resonated with me because of the photos. But your, your dad and your face... I mean, you look like Vince Lombardi in the face, I can, except the gap in the teeth. That's right, yeah. But you've um, been told that? Uh, yeah, you know, I guess um, more, my dad looks a lot like him, and people see that yeah. comparison a little bit more. I've been told I look like my dad a little mm -hmm. bit more, but yeah, I suppose there's some resemblance. Do you have a Vince Lombardi quote that's your favorite, or do you even? Um, 
I do. I think, uh, you know, he talked to the team. He said there should be three things in your life, faith, family, and football. And, um, you know, as long as you keep those things the main thing in that order, uh, things will be all right. So I like, uh, you know, kind of that that anchor that he set, like, hey, when things are maybe feeling a little bit hectic, man, you just pay attention to those three things and try to keep those right, and uh, everything will turn out all right. Your faith's very important to you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. How many kids do you have? Seven. <laughs> it better be with seven kids. Yeah, yeah you need it. <laughs> um, raised Catholic, as as I was. Yep. And, and, and how much of that do you lean on, and especially in coaching? Oh, a ton. I mean, it's uh, something that's very important and, and kind of the bedrock of, of – um, you know, how you, uh, you know, aim your arrow in life. And so, uh, you know, I always feel like if that's, if you can keep that part of your life in order, everything else will take care of itself. Last question. Why are there so many damn Lombardis? Yeah, I don't know. I think I've heard that it's kind of like Smith in, Ita- in Italy. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to, we're going to open up with the Raiders and, and, and Mick Lombardi is the offensive coordinator there. Not related, but, uh, you know, I guess, I guess the name just kind of pulls you in. Do you mind if I tell people you're my son? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll say cousins. <laughs> cousins. You don't look old enough to be my dad. Sure.